Mark chapter number 1 from verse 39. And he, Jesus, preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and cast out devils. Jesus preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and he cast out devils everywhere he preached throughout all Galilee. And there came a leper unto him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him. Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hands, and touched him, and saith unto him, I will, I am willing, be thou clean. Be thou clean, be thou clean. And he, as soon as Christ has spoken, the leper immediately was healed. His leprosy immediately departed from him and he was cleansed. Jesus touched him. I want to tell you that there is power, healing power in the touch of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Halikaradosha. In Matthew chapter 9, from verse 18 to 26, Jesus was walking. Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, one of the synagogues, came to him and said, My daughter had just died, but come and lay your hands on her, and she shall leave. Jesus left everything, went with the man. On their way, a woman who had had an issue of blood for 12 long years came and touched the hem of Christ's garment. Because she has said to herself, if only I may touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. And she came and touched, and she was made whole. When Christ perceived that something left him, he stopped and said, who touched me? Everybody that I went denied. The woman came and said, Lord, I touched you. Why? This is what, I, what happened to me. Christ said, daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith had made you whole. And she was completely healed and restored. She has spent all her money for 12 long years of medical doctors. Yet, they took all her money, yet couldn't help her. I don't say, she grew worse. She never had a change of story. Christ set her free by a touch. She touched. Jesus continued, got to the synagogue ruler's house, Jairus house, and saw the mourners mourning and grieving and crying and weeping and wailing. Christ put them out, said, get out of here. This child is not... It's not they were sleeping. They began to laugh him to scorn, mock him. Because they thought it was a JJC, John just come. <laughs> How can you say the one we are crying is not the one we know he's dead, having been certified by their doctors? How can you say that? They laughed Christ to scorn. They mocked him. Christ put them out, entered there, took the girl by the hand, touched. And the girl came back to life. No word was spoken. By a touch, the dead was the sort of life. I stretch my hands towards you. There are rays of healing power going forth right now. The anointing is here now. Anything dead or dying in you, I command to be restored to life right now. Dead I see. Dead ears be healed. Dead tongues be healed. Every dead hand, dead legs, dead organs be restored to life right now. Whatever is dead or dying in you, I command to live again in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus touched the dead and the dead came back to life. By his touch, every dead organ came back. The spirit that was left, that has left the body, that was gone, returned back to that body without a word uttered. No matter where what you need is, no matter how far away what you need is from you, I fetch it and I release it unto you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever you need that the enemy may have taken, may, may have taken far away from you, I command the restoration of that right now. Spirits have left bodies. Come back and enter your bodies right now. Kidneys that are dead be restored to life right now. Liver, pancreas, oh, everything that is dead or dying, I command them to come back to life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus told the leper, I will be clean. 
and immediately the leprosy departed or left by his touch leprosy left by his touch leprosy left there are three principal ways that Christ heals through the spoken word that's by the mouth and through his touch or through the faith of the people whichever they produce the same result faith produces the same result like the touch or the word so whether by your by my faith or your faith or by the spoken word or by the touch the result is the same now i speak to you god created everything by the spoken word nakula prayer the spoken word is the greatest avenue to which god heals he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions right now in the name of jesus regardless of where you are no matter how far away you are there's no distance in the world of the spirit today and now i decree be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet of every manner of sickness and of every manner of disease in the precious name of jesus christ receive your healing in jesus mighty name Receive your freedom, Makulu Prahamia, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By his touch, leprosy departed. By his touch, death was terminated. If leprosy could go by his touch, Karush Katobaya, Karatu Kasupraya, in Amatulia, if death could be destroyed by his touch, if the woman's touching the garment of Christ could terminate her 12 years blood flow or hemorrhage, now I command you to touch the screen of your device, your iPad, your handset, your phone, your TV, or whatever device you are using to watch this right now. I want to connect with you. I am touching my device, and I command in the name of Jesus Christ, by this touch, you are declared healed. We connect in the world of the Spirit, and I decree, whatever is dead or dying, you is restored be healed be completely set free from every sickness and from every disease right now in the precious name of jesus christ listen it is over that sickness is gonna go forever you are declared free discharged and acquitted from that death sentence from that evil death sentence you are free to the bone marrow everything planted in you by the devil is gone you are free in jesus precious name Amen. Peace. See you again in our next short video. Peace.